What's good, YouTube? What's the word, man? Uh, today we finna, you know, it's a little Glock vlog. We finna hit up the shooting range and just, you know, dump some money. You feel me? Put some holes in paper. So yeah, just stay tuned. We finna pull up there soon. Appreciate you for clicking on the video. This is one of my. This is my first video. So yeah, I appreciate y'all clicking on the video. This 350Z in front of me trying to race me the whole time. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to pick y'all up in a second when I'm in the gun range. Appreciate, appreciate y'all clicking on the video again. Yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be a lit vlog. All right, YouTube, so we're here at the range. Pretty dead today. Nobody in here, so it's going to be a good time. Great time to record. So, yeah, this is what we dumping today. We got the Glock 17 Gen 3, the Glock 19X Gen 5, and the Glock 43X Gen 5. I low-key haven't shot this one yet. I got it recently, so I'm finna dump that one first. I'm actually finna try to be precise with it. I'm not gonna dump it just yet. But it comes with 10 rounds and a mag. It's the only downside about this. But you can get, you know, a shield arms mag that gives you like 15 rounds. Super compact, great for everyday carry. You know, I like this one for everyday carry, but you know, that joint is nice. You know? that out on somebody they're gonna be like dang that's a nice gun before you even pop them but nah i'm just playing they obviously don't run unless they got fire on them too but yeah i'm gonna put this down the range cock this put it in action and then i'll turn y'all back on when i'm about to dump it all right y'all first shots with the 43x to just 10 round mag but that, that joint was dumping bro <laughs> i think i got more kick than i thought okay nah but yeah i like this one for sure i'll finish with the other mag all right y'all ready i know they say this ain't good for your gun but it's quicker hold on hold on hold on before we shoot it, you feel me? Let's let's assess the first shots. I haven't been at the range in a grip, so let's assess my first clip, you feel me? Oh man. Alright, bro. So I said I was gonna try to be precise and you know, you feel me? Uh I wasn't trying really. I just shot this John. It's my first time shooting it. You know, I don't have really good handle with it yet. You feel me? Like accuracy not there with the 43X yet. People honestly say that these are harder to be accurate with, like these are a good gun, good for everyday carry, but people say it's harder to be accurate with them. I may be wrong, you know, y'all might cook me in the comments and be like, bro, I beam the middle every single time with that, but bro, I don't know, first time shooting it, I think I didn't do too bad. Y'all probably don't have a different thoughts, but feel me? I hit my, my, my. Yo, that's torso all the way. If, I'm, I'm, if I have to shoot at somebody, if I'm ever put in that situation, I'm hitting them torso all the way. Stomach, chest, chest. I say four torso hits. Five, because there's two right here. You know, I meant to do that on some dead shot stuff. You feel me? I tried to hit it in the same spot twice. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it. Pick y'all up in a second. All right, so before I even shoot it, I want to teach y'all something y'all might not know. You know, Glock owners probably know it's kind of obvious, but I just want to show you that what the indicator is on Glocks when there's one in the head. Y'all probably already know. I'm just trying to educate the people that, you know, trying to figure it out, trying to trying to know, trying to peep. So you see that right there, right? You see this poking out? That right there is the indicator for a Glock. So anytime you have one in the head, that's going to be, that ain't going to be flush, you know? It's like you see on my Glock 19. You see how you can't see that thing? You pick up the 43X, you can see it. It's poking out just barely. But yeah, I know it's a small indicator. Unlike other guns, like I had a Smith & Wesson that just had a hole in the top. You can see that, John, but you feel me? This one, yeah, that's the indicator, if y'all didn't know, right there, this little piece. Poke out a tiny bit. We do not care. But yeah, 
I'm finna dump it, guys. I ain't about accuracy in this. somebody don't tell me that the 43x just jammed hold on bro you're lucky you can't return guns bro what these have never jammed never hold the hold on bro uh, trying to dump it bro it jammed that is crazy my first time shooting it bro Maybe it just been sitting for too long. Bro, it's tripping for sure doing that. All right, see that indicator? It's tucked in, just sitting flush. All right, it didn't jam again. That's a bet. That was not live. All right, so on to 19X, you feel me? Gen 5, got that desert, that tan, that gold, whatever you want to call it, that green. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, this one is my favorite gun right here. It's like the way it fits in my hand. I got a big hand, so it's going to fit my hand perfect. You feel me? So, yeah, we finna. Well, I'm going to try to be accurate with this one. All right, I'm finna bring this in and see how bad I was on that dump. I hit far right a lot. These are all new. Hey, just ignore what I say right here, bro. Like, baby, I'm hit the paper, hit the paper, hit the paper, those are paper, not paper, new holes. I think these those are new. were there at the very beginning of the video before I even let it shot that off. That one, I don't know if that's new. But, all right, we're going to change the paper. Give me a second, I'll pick y'all up in a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. On this one, I'm finna try to, all right, first of all, that was my first time shooting this, right? I just want to. I just want to clear this up. First time shooting a forty three X, and I was shooting it from excuses, twenty feet. That blue excuses, line, excuses, that blue line, bro. right here it says. Yeah, you were shooting at that twenty feet. Line, 20 your feet. aim was dookie me. So you feel me? I'm not that bad with the accuracy. Shooting from twenty feet. I'm gonna try to hit smack dab in the middle on this. Right in the middle. So I'm gonna, you know, shoot it from fifteen. I'm just gonna shoot one shot, see if I can hit it in the middle. I'm gonna set y'all up. Clean off these glasses, bro. It's crazy. Get jammed, okay. I lit up the middle, bro. I lit up the middle for sure. Stop <laughs> playing with me. What? All right, all right. It wasn't as good as I thought, but you feel me? I did. My first few shots when I was just, you know, trying to be precise with it, I hit map, 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 map. And then I just started dumping. And it said, me, 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 me. Hey. All on the paper, though. You can count 17 shots right here. Actually, this hole's 19. Cause they got that little extendo, you feel know I me? Mean? But yeah, 19 shots. Count them out for me, y'all. Comment how many y'all hit on the paper. I guess if y'all really strict with it, if you really a sniper, you cannot count that if you don't want to. But everything else, you know, I hit on the paper. You know I mean, this is not only fun, but it's training. You feel know I me? Mean? Especially with how crazy this world getting, bro. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. You better believe it. But anyway. Not anyway, because that's facts. Now, the 30 clip, you feel me? <laughs> this thing, bro, this 30, clip, this 30 shots, bro. 31, with the little extender on the bottom. 31, yeah, 33 shots, actually, with that little spot right here. This gives you two more sh uh, shots, if you didn't know that. But yeah, 33 shots right here. Anyway, we finna dump the Glock 17. 
you know, I'm finna reload the 30 shots and dump it through uh, the 19. Because the good thing about the 19X, bro, you can fit Glock 17 mags in the 19X. Perfect. If it's flush, perfect. Okay. So, yeah, you finna dump 30 through the 19 too. I got a question. Have y'all ever hit up the range and forgot to take your self-defense ammo out? And you sitting there shooting, and you like, why does it sound like that? It sound way louder. It sound different. It sound like a clack more than a boom. Yeah, I've done that before. So, the full clip. You know, I, I just loaded my clip. You know, put one in the head and started dumping it. That was when I had my Smith and Wesson, and didn't peep until afterwards that I shot my self defense ammunition, bro. <laughs> my hollows. Never do that again. But yeah, it's understandable. If, if y'all did that, let me know in the comments. Just be honest, bro. Don't sit there and cap. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Like Hannah Montana said, bro. Stop playing. But anyway, we finna dump the 17. I ain't even finna change this. I finna try to be accurate on these. And even these. All right. And then I'm finna probably just dump. Because that's 33 shots, you know. It's, it feel longer than you think when you shoot them. Anyway, I'll pick you up in a second. All right, it's live. Feel me? Glock 17, Gen 3, going through it. 33 round mag. Finna dump it. Finna trying to be precise and start though. may be the to some people honestly i think this is the second best obviously the 19x is better and then that one it jammed these have never jammed on me so i'm gonna say that one suck for now it might prove me wrong it may not ever jam again but yeah this joint dump bro y'all heard it and if y'all want to i'm just talking i ain't gonna i ain't gonna get fed with this <laughs> I'm not about that. Like, I just shoot guns. You feel me? I just own guns. I ain't finna go street with it. I ain't finna go get switches. Unless I get that class three or certification or whatever it is, which costs hella money. But I don't know. I might do it down the road. I don't know. But, yeah. That paper out there is done. Finito. Ran back in. Feel me? I told you I was finna try to be precise. All right, so I hit right here. Give me my props. Come on. It, it's terrible, but it's not, bro. I haven't been at the range in like three months, two, three months. Let's dump this up. I know this. some of this is new for a fact. These are new. Just trying to be accurate right there. Smacked it. Trying to be accurate right there. Completely missed it. <laughs> Tried to be accurate right here. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all see that, right? Bro, that's like dead shots type. Bro, stop playing with me, bro. Could have put me in that movie. What's it called? Uh, Suicide Squad, bro. Could have been dead shot easily. Nah, but anyway, bro. That's accuracy right there. I was aiming for that, too. And then I just started dumping. After I saw that, I was hitting, you know, decent. You know, I know dumps are entertaining to y'all, so. Well, I figured they are because they're entertaining to me. But, yeah, just dumped the 17. Still got a couple more mags down here for the 17 and the 19. We finna dump them real quick. I'm here alone, so this is kind of pointless, but I'm finna play a game of horse. <laughs> nah, the, re the real reason I got this is just because it's a smaller target, as you can see, compared to the other ones. And I just wanted to, you know, dump, all, dump off on it. And just... See how accurate I am, because these are real small targets. So I'm finna put it at like 15 feet. Actually, I'm gonna start putting it at 10. And I'm gonna set y'all up and really try to hit accurate on this. And now I'm gonna put it to 15 after a few shots. But yeah, here we go. I'm finna play horse for myself. On the 
it ain't really 10, it's like, uh, it's like 12 feet, 13 feet. So it's a 19X. Gonna go for the R first. Let's see what we did there. Fancy. All right. So from shoot like 12 feet, 12, 13 feet. I say we shot 19 shots, as I know. The last two, I didn't want to, you know, tear the paper apart too much, which is stupid. I should have just went for it. But let's count these out. All right. Let's see how accurate I was. This is a very. It's like one fourth of the pitching box. In Bro, baseball. again with the excuses. Nah, <laughs> oh you know, my like twelve goodness. feet, but still. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Uh, that's not too terrible, bro. Y'all can get on me if you want. I missed five shots. And I told y'all the last <laughs> yo, two, I just don't. Yo, my scholars literally. watching, bro. I just shot them. Get on me too like bad, I bro. Out here. I know that was terrible yeah. mess. That ain't too bad, bro. So now I'm going to put it out even further. And I'm going to shoot it through the 17. I'm going to go 17 on the next one. And I'm going to aim for these from 15 feet. And aim for H-O-R-S-E. And once I see that, I hit every single one. I'm going to bring it back in. Y'all time me. Put it in the comments how, how long it take me to do this. All right, y'all ready? Dang, not 20 feet. Another awesome thing about the 19X, they give you, when you buy a 19X brand new, which I suggest every time you buy a gun, you buy a brand new. Cause shoot, you might get home and it's a freaking DB gun. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. You buy your guns brand new, bro, it's worth it. Anyway, the 19X comes with three mags. It comes with two plus two mags, 19 round mags, and then one 17 round mag. And the awesome thing about the mags that come with the 19X, they also fit in the 17. I mean, perfectly flush. So, yeah. I just want to let y'all know that. Y'all probably already knew, but I'm just letting y'all know. See how I did. See how I did. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Hey, can we count that as H and O? All 
right, y'all. So I only hit two out of five, bro. Only hit two out of the five. Hey, I say that. Hey, yo, my bad, apologies, bro. y'all. Now that I look at it, From bro, I really feet. hit zero out of five. Literally a freaking. I literally hit none of the letters. <laughs> 12 by eight piece yo. of paper, bro. 15 feet. Bro, y'all saw how far away it was in the camera. Come on now, y'all. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. And I was hitting on the paper, bro. I was hitting down here a lot because I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to aim for these, so they look pretty bad. Feel me, like, not too bad. Like, I feel like accuracy gonna get there, bro. If you all ask me for more videos, bro, accuracy finna be crazy. I'm finna have everyone buy, 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 buy every single one of these. Fill up full, bro. I'm telling you. And then I'm going to shoot these just to end it off. Like, just wait on it, bro. But anyway, now we finna just do some dumps, bro, because we got to get up out of here. Accuracy thrown out the window. We finna go Shytown, town rack Iraq. You're crazy. Finna dump it, bro. I my dump. Tell me, tell me in the comments how fast it is. Dump that whole thing, man. Yeah. That's a wrap on the shooting tonight for this video. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate y'all clicking on my first vid. If you like the content, you know, like it, obviously, you feel me? Comment. Comment what you want me to do next. Comment if you want me to come back here. Comment what gun you think I should get. Comment where else you think I should shoot like on some friend's land or just go to an outdoor official range or come back here. Let me know y'all. Yeah. cool in there. Well, this time they were. I can tell y'all a little bit more detail on why I say this time. But last time I came in there, I came in there, bro, I was tweaking. I admit I, I was tweaking, but if y'all know, there's a certain way, I don't know, I feel like me logically thinking, there's a certain way you want to move and talk to people when you work in a gun range where people come in with guns and ammunition, you feel me, to like shoot guns. I'm being awfully specific right now, but if y'all get what I'm trying to say, you got to talk to people a certain way, bro, because everybody in that joint has a deadly weapon on them, right? And I'm a man of God, so I ain't never finna put and harm nobody unless I literally have to. But, you feel me, like, so I went in there, right? And as soon as I get in there, bro, I don't know why, but I just started, it just felt like, I don't know, the wrong people was working for me to come in there that day. And I pull up in there, and as soon as I get in there, bro, somebody rings me up, bro. I ask for an hour of shooting time. And I, you feel me, go in the range, right? And, you know, it's a little bit packed, a little bit hectic this day. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But I go in the range, and the people, there's this one dude, bro, like this little slick, this little bit, like, shorter dude that, was, that followed me in there. Bro, that's a track hog right there. Anyways, right, so this smaller dude, like, just like, I don't know, middle-aged dude, don't really matter the age, because he wasn't acting his age. It's like following me everywhere I go, bro. Like, I'm about to rob the place. Like, bro, I know all y'all sticked up. I don't even have my gun ready for action. Why would I even try? Like, I don't even know why he was bugging, though. Bro was following me everywhere I went, and 
he ends up following me into the shooting bay, bro. Bay one or whatever, whatever bay I was in. Starts fo he follows me into the shooting bay and like just starts watching me. And I peeped that he was following me as soon as like I walked in, bro. He's just eyeballing me, mad weird, bro. So I go in there, bro. I'm about to shoot. And I'm trying to get somewhere else, kind of far from home. But yeah, I just went in there, bro. Started shooting, bro. Before I was even able to let off a shot, no, I think I let off a few shots. Bro comes up behind me while I'm shooting, taps me on my shoulder, all aggressive, is like, "Hey." You, uh, did you just come in here with loaded mags? I'm like, bro, yes, I did. I did come in here with your loaded mags. What? And he's looking at me, bro, all side, like all crazy. And I'm just like, bro, are you good? And he's like, takes a second to even say anything. He's like, just wanted to let you know, you can't come in here with loaded mags, man. If you come here with loaded mags, that's dangerous. His voice did not sound like that. And just like, you know, a typical white guy, you know, I don't know nothing against white guys. I'm half white, as you can see, I'm mixed. But bro, just looking at me, like talking me crazy. And then he starts critiquing everything I'm doing, bro. Like after this situation, bro, that's why I haven't been to the range in a while. Cause I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get my gun etiquette up, bro. My range etiquette is gonna be crazy the next time I come up in here, bro. If there's other people in here or if, he, or if he's in here. Because you can't move a muscle without him saying something. So, bro, he taps me on my shoulder while I'm shooting out of nowhere. And I'm thinking it's urgent. I'm thinking it's freaking fire the way he tapped on me, bro. He's talking to me while people are shooting. I'm like, bro, you act like I can take these headphones off, bro. Y'all don't have those earmuffs where you can hear people talk. Y'all got the regular dagulars. I got to get my own so I can hear you when you're talking, I guess, when they come here. But I don't got nothing against, bro. But he was literally tweaking. He just said... You can't come in here with loaded mags, man. And then he started critiquing everything, bro. He said, and you got your gun aimed uh, down at your feet while I'm talking to you. I'm like, bro, my finger's down on the trigger. You act like I don't know how to hold a gun when I'm not shooting it. He's like, you should have put your gun down, then turned around and come and talk to me. I'm like, bro, you should have just not bothered me, buddy. I've been in here a few times, man. No one's ever, people have watched me just like you. Never said a word to me about anything like what you're saying, bro, which I understand now. Like, after I, you know, learned my, you know, gun range etiquette. Like, bro, you shouldn't come into the range with loaded mags. All right. And if you do, they need to be completely separate from the gun. Obviously, now that I think about it, I was tweaking. But the way he came at me, bro. If y'all think about it, we in a freaking gun range, bro. Everybody in this joint has a deadly weapon. And bro is literally talking to me wild. Like, bro, I can't really, like, I don't got hateful, hatefulness in me like that, bro. I used to, but God healed me from that, bro. God delivered me from that. So I don't got that in me. So I can't even, like, you know, articulate the way he spoke to me, bro. Honestly, I'm not the type of dude. I'm not that black dude that'd be like, bro, you racist, bro. But it kind of felt like that. Are you bugging? Are you bugging? Okay. Stay there. Thank you. But yeah, just talking to me crazy. And I'm just like, bro, you shouldn't talk to people. You don't know how crazy I am. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how I react to certain things like this. He's lucky I'm a dude that's timid. A dude that keeps it like chill. You feel me? Because he would have got, like, if I was really one of these hood men, like, what are these hood dudes, bro? Like, imagine somebody from the Shire, somebody from a city that's about that, bro. Don't tolerate disrespect in any way shape or form bro and he disrespected them like i really should have to talk with him and be like bro you need to chill on how you talk to people like i get we got to have gun safety and it's very you know i understand your sternness but the way you came about it bro is like really unprofessional so low-key bro i was just, i was cool off that place for a while until i got my gun etiquette right you know like it was my fault but if I was in, in his shoes, bro, I would not go up to nobody and talk like that to them. Like, bro, you never know when egos fly, tempers fly, bro. What someone, what people are going through, what they're battling in their mind, what demons they battling, bro. He's lucky I was delivered from all my demons, bro, because I, I could have bugged out right there. But yeah, that's my story. If y'all could even still, if y'all still listen, that's my story about that spot, bro. He was just bugging on me, bro. I didn't do nothing to you, buddy. I'm on Christ, so you want to race? Out of there!
bro. He's just tweaking on me, bro. And I was just like, man. Man, God bless you, bro. You must be going through something today. Just picking on cats, bro. Because I didn't do nothing to you. Didn't even look your way. And when I did look your way, I was friendly. Bro, I was friendly to him like he should have been to me, bro. Like, you're the one working here. You're supposed to get your clients to be coming back, bro. Yeah, that's a little story time, I guess. It turned into a story time. I was going to make it short, but I guess, I don't know, that bothered me more than I thought because I sat here and talked about it for, like, almost 10 minutes. But, sheesh, man, that was that dude was an awful for no reason to me. Like, chill. But, yeah, I forgive him because forgiveness is the key to peace, man. It's one of the keys to peace. But Jesus Christ is the first key to peace because you ain't going to have forgiveness in your heart without him helping you telling you bro especially y'all out there that have been through some terrible stuff people have did you terribly wrong y'all people are the ones that you know i pray you get in touch with god you're trying to race me again don't do it don't do it nah but yeah bro i appreciate y'all watching the video bro that's a wrap that's a fed right there so i gotta slow down stay trooper too so you be bugging so i gotta slow down Alright, he's gone. He's not bugging. So he's just gonna keep driving. But anyway, man, like I appreciate y'all watching the video, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed, bro. If you enjoyed the video, bro, like, comment, and subscribe, bro. Bro, and, and tell me in the comments, bro, what you want me to do next, bro. I make all type of content. I'm a hooper too, bro. I can hoop. Bro. If y'all wanna see me get bouncy, if y'all wanna see me catch a body on the court, bro, tap in with me, bro. On the in the comments, bro. Let me know. Just let me know. Y'all want to see what type of content y'all want to see, bro. I'll even step outside, you feel me, and do a little prank video, but I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm really going to have to, like, tell me you finna view, tap in, bro, share the video type shit, bro. Like, oh, excuse me, God. I'm sorry. I just cuss a little bit, bro. Touch shit. You feel me? Like, something I'm working on, bro. I don't want to cuss at all, bro, because your vocabulary becomes better when you don't cuss for real. Anyway, I appreciate y'all, bro. I appreciate y'all watching the video, bro. And if y'all got a Bible in y'all house, bro, verse of the day is, go read it, bro. I know y'all probably, God, this dude talking about God again, man. Man, Jesus is Lord, bro. He is, bro. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm going to always relay that message every single video, bro. Because I love everybody watching this, bro. Because God loves you, bro. The love of God courses through me. Give him all the glory. So please, man, just, if you got a Bible in your house, if you don't know, if you have a Bible in your house, go ask your parents, bro. Say, and go read. The verse of the day is Acts 2.21. Go read it. All right. God bless y'all. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe.